Today we're going to show you how to install coyote rollers. Coyote rollers are a great way to keep dogs in their kennels at shelters. They were originally actually designed to keep coyotes out of people's yards and we've just repurposed them a little bit for animal shelters. So in order to install these, you're gonna need a play yard that has a top rail, which most chain link fence yards do, but this is an important part. And you're gonna to need to go on the Coyote Roller website and get the correct kit for the size of your top rail. Common sizes are inch and three eighths and inch and five eighths. The one we're working with today is an inch and five eighths kit. And so it's important that you measure that top rail before you order your kit. So when you get your kits, it's gonna come with a number of things. The first is the actual roller itself. And so this will get installed up on top of the fence and tilted slightly in. And so if a dog tries to climb the fence, it will get to this part and it will just spin. And so it keeps them from getting any grip on the top of the fence. Uh, it also protects them against any sharp edges on top of your fence because they'll never get to that part. So as part of this kit, you're gonna get a bunch of hardware as well. And the main thing that we wanna pay attention to are the brackets. So with these brackets, there's a right hand and a left hand bracket. You can see each of these has a tab with a hole in it and it's facing a different way. The reason that I mention these are because at the end of each run, you need a right and a left. And so before you even start, you wanna lay out your rights and your lefts and make sure the end of each run has that. The reason for this is when we bolt this to the top rail of the fence, we want the roller to go as far as we can down the end. To attach these, you're gonna use something called a brace band. This will also come with your kit and I'll show you how we're actually going to stack these with the bolt and two different nuts so that it attaches properly to the fence. In addition to the actual kit itself, you're gonna need a few other basic tools as well. You're gonna need a hammer. You're gonna need some channel lock pliers. These are used so that when we put these brace bands on, we can squeeze them shut again. And then you're also gonna make sure that you have a wrench and a ratchet with a deep socket on it. In addition to all of these tools, you're also gonna need a way to cut the coyote rollers. Uh, because they're aluminum, they can actually be cut with a fine tooth wood cutting blade. So if you have a miter saw at home, you can use that to cut these. Um, so anything that's rated to cut aluminum will work great. Today, we're gonna to be using a grinder to cut these. All right, so we're gonna start down at the end of a run here. You always wanna start all the way in the corner. So we're working on the right side here, and so we're gonna use this right-handed bracket which means the tab is actually facing to the left from this view. And so what we're gonna to do to start here is we're gonna attach our brace band. These are a little hard to get on, so we're gonna use a hammer to get this started on the fence. Okay, so we've got that on our fence, and we're gonna rotate this up around. This, the final place this is gonna go is about a 45 degree angle toward the inside. So eventually we're gonna to wanna to get it there. We're gonna go ahead and take our bracket, and this is gonna get mounted so it's over as far as it can to the right, and our tab is gonna be facing the left, so our roller is as close to the corner as possible. And we bolt this through, we're using carriage bolts that have a smooth head, and so we want the smooth head facing toward the dogs so it's safer for them. So we're gonna put this through our brace band and then through our bracket, and before we go through the other side of our brace band, we're actually going to thread a nut all the way down until it touches our bracket. This part confuses a lot of people because normally you would put the nut on last, but this actually is going to get two nuts on it. So the first nut is to hold this on, and so we're just gonna put that on finger tight. We're gonna put this through the second hole of the brace band, and we're gonna use our channel lock pliers to squeeze this down a little bit. And it just needs to be enough to get our second nut started on it. It doesn't have to be totally tight. So you can see we have this stacked here. We have our, our bolt that goes through our brace band, our bracket, we have the first nut that's finger tight through the other side of the brace band, and now we have our second nut on top. So what we're gonna do first is tighten down this first nut, and so we're just gonna use an open-ended wrench, and as we get tight here, we wanna be sure that the bracket is sitting square to the brace band. If it gets angled too much in one direction or the other, uh, it can affect how well the roller will actually spin. So I'm gonna put this on very tight so that this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, that looks good. So we'll do a final tightening here. And now you can do this next step with your wrench. I'm gonna use a socket on a ratchet and tighten down 
this second bolt. All right, so before we go all the way tight, we're gonna go ahead and spin this up around to the top, and we're gonna get it as far as we can into the corner, and we wanna be on a 45 degree angle leaning in from the fence, just approximately. We don't need to measure that. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten this the rest of the way down. So now that we have our first bracket up, the next step is gonna to be to take our roller and set it on that bracket that we just installed. And we're gonna go down to the other end and we're gonna do the same thing. And so once we're in the middle like this, it doesn't matter if we use a right hand or a left hand bracket, as long as we've gone ahead and set all the ones that we need for our corners where they need to be before we actually start this. Uh, we're gonna follow the same process and just work our way down until we get to the end. And then when we get to the end, we're gonna have to cut the last one. And so I'll show you that next. Okay, so we have put all of our brackets and rollers in for this side and we've gotten down to the last little bit. And what's happened on this one is we have a very short piece left. Uh, however, it is important that we do put one in here because if we don't, uh, we can end up with a space where a dog could still find its way out of here pretty easily. What we're gonna do, I've put this in and it's just sitting here loosely. This one is tight. I'm gonna measure between the two. And so we're at four and three eighths there. We'll call it four and a quarter. Um, we're gonna need to subtract a little bit of extra so it can spin freely. And then we have to account for our cap on the end too, which is about a quarter of an inch thick on each end. So we're gonna measure from one that already has a cap in it. So we only have to account for one cap on the side we're cutting, plus a quarter inch. So we're gonna subtract a half inch from our measurement. So we're gonna go cut that and we'll get this last piece installed. Okay, we've cut our piece and you can see we have an end cap on one end still from where we made the cut. The other end is gonna be pretty rough from the grinder or saw or whatever you use. So we're gonna take a metal file, a very fine file, and we're gonna go ahead and file out all these pieces. We're gonna take another end cap, we'll hammer it into this end once it's filed, and then we'll be ready to install this short piece in here. Okay, we have our piece ready to go. We've got two end caps on, we filed it. So now what we're gonna do is slide the last piece on and we're gonna rotate this last bracket up to match it. And then that will hold itself there. I'm gonna take our ratchet and get this tightened down. Okay, so now we have successfully installed our coyote rollers. This is a nice simple project that can really be a big benefit to your local shelter uh, that just requires some very simple tools. Once you're done installing all these, it's a good idea to go around, just double check, make sure all of these spin freely, and you just wanna make sure they look nice, that they're all in a straight line. It's very easy to just go along, loosen the bolts, and just twist them a little bit in either direction just to make sure everything looks really good. Once all that's done, then you're all set. Great work. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all of our awesome rescue rebuild videos.